Hello everyone. Uh, today we will discuss about uh, the correlation between India VIX and Nifty. So India VIX is nothing but the measure of the put, put spreads versus the call spreads on the uh, near month end options for Nifty. And uh, we will through an example uh, we will look at how India VIX directly is uh, uh, impacting uh, Nifty. So these are uh, the recent movements of India VIX and uh, please remember India VIX movement is only and only relational to Nifty but not Bank Nifty because India VIX is derived only from the Nifty call and put spreads but not from Bank Nifty. So having said that let's get on with our um, live examples here so i am here on 4th september 2020 at 2:30. on the left hand side of my screen is the india vix and on the right hand side is the nifty 50 on a 15 minute uh, time frame chart uh, looking right now at the uh, 4th september 20 data we can see that on the bollinger band the india vix has moved up and touch the cloud above on the other side <clears throat> uh, we can see that on the same date and on the same uh, time frame nifty has moved down the bollinger bands median and went into negative so the relation between india vix and nifty 50 is inverse mm -hmm. india vix moves up nifty 50 goes down india vix moves down Nifty 50 goes up. It's pretty uh, uh, an inverse relation between India VIX and Nifty 50. Now, another example here is uh, let's look at 8 September to 2 p.m. Okay, 8 September 2 p.m. The India VIX has moved clearly away from the bowling band median and progressed upside. 8 September from 2 p.m. Now on the converse side on Nifty we can see that on 8 p.m. 8 September 2 p.m. it started its downfall and uh, it moved from about 11,407 where it opened and closed at 11,300. That's almost a 90 point fall for Nifty. And on the third example we have here is how the market has uh, moved from a negative stance to a positive stance here on this day. Now, taking the example of the movement on 9 September 2020, weeks moved in the green side on the positive side until 12:15 p.m starting from 9.30 a.m. On the other side, Nifty has fallen because India VIX has moved in the positive. That means Nifty moves in the opposite direction. So it has fallen until here, until 12.15 p.m. And now, after 12.15 p.m., we can see that the India VIX has clearly moved from the top side of the Bollinger Band breaking the median into the bottom side of the Bollinger Band. The movement is very clearly visible here. Conversely, on the Nifty, we can see at the same time frame, it went from negative to and also moved from the Bollinger Band's median and moved upside into positive territory. The move we got here, once it crossed the Bollinger Band, here for both VIX and Nifty is it moved from an open of 11,236 at 1.45 p.m. to 11,264 and the high it reached is about 11,298. So this is a live interpretation of how India VIX uh, directly affects or directly has his uh, impact on Nifty 50's movement. Uh, hope this helps and always 
trade with caution uh, trading in the financial in, in, uh, instruments in any in, in instruments is very very risky do not trade until and unless um, you consult your financial advisor and if you like this um, tutorial or educational video you may hit the subscribe button and hit like and show some love thank you